Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I continue the repair of the PlayStation 2. The CD tray not opened before. And if you haven't seen this video, you should do um, after you've seen this video. I put the link in the description and also in the info card in the corner. Um, today, I removed the old laser unit and put a new one in. That's uh, the thing that doesn't work at the last time. The tray opened, but uh, the PlayStation don't um, read any discs. At least we put uh, the cover of the CD tray on and then we test if this PlayStation reads disc um, so that we can finish the repair. So enjoy the video and let's start it. So here is the PlayStation 2 on the bench and let's open up, change the laser, put the front on and then we can test this. So. And now we are in. Open the screws for the DVD. Player Let's give this a little bit of power and you can open the CD tray. So. So. Let's see. This should be fit. To change this laser unit, you have to whoop, you have to open this two screws and then lift this up, slide this out, put the new one. And that's it. Then open carefully this this connector. So like this.
So. The new unit is in. Put the screws in. Close the tray. Now we close the drive and then we test this unit. Now we test this unit and see if this works. So now it's time for testing. The um, PlayStation 2 is connected to the TV. I have connected a controller. And now let's open the tray. You see there is a game inside. The PlayStation starts normally. No. Reset the console. And let's see if this uh, PlayStation is running. The drive spins normally. And uh, yes, it's working. Sound. Yeah, it's in German. We are in Germany. Oh, this PlayStation is in German. You see, the game is loading. Perfect. So you see the drive is working, PlayStation is working normally. So before we, we reassemble this device, I must tell you something if you want to change your laser unit. If you change this laser unit, you must uh, recalibrate this unit. You have here a screw, a little screw, a little torque screw. So um, there you have the angle. Yeah. You put it in the right angle to the DVD and in the right distance. I have this made uh, off camera. So if you uh, don't do that. The laser unit can touch the DVD from the other side, and then you must, uh, must recalibrate the distance of this. So if you don't do that, this will not work. So now we close the drive.
So let's put the upper housing on. Close the holes from the screws, put the feet on, so the last we have to do is this front cover on it, it's not the original cover. It's a cover for a special mod. If you want to uh, use games from other countries and you don't want to solder a chip in it, you put the original in. And uh, when the game starts, you go in the slot with the wire and open the tray. And then you put your... Um, copy in it or from the other country the game and um, then can you open so the owner has only one only this thing the original he doesn't have you can also 3d print one so We must open the tray. Then let's open the tray. Oh, now if it fits in, oh, slide it in, yeah, finish, works done, so this is for this episode. Now the PlayStation 2 is fully working and can go to uh, back to his happy owner. This repair is not too difficult and the repair was a lot of fun. So if you want, you can do it by your own. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want more videos, subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next time.